good morning. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to join our presentation today over PaperCut MF and being the, the print management solution for healthcare. So welcome. Today we're going to share a lot of great information with you. We're going to show you how ACDI and PaperCut is the right solution for all of your healthcare opportunities to include small doctor's offices all the way up to enterprise opportunities. And I'm even going to mix in some other opportunities or verticals, if you will, or industries that you might not think of with healthcare, but we'll, we'll get there. So I'm going to share with you some great stats and a success story that will no doubt help you realize, and you'll know that ACDI and paper cut and healthcare just works. So steering the ship with me today is my usual co-captain and one of our pre-sales technical specialists, Mr. Doc Balzi. Doc will be hosting, for those of you who don't know, so if you're on the call, let your solutions managers, your technical department, let them know that we will follow this up in two hours at 1 o'clock Central Time with a technical presentation of Paper Cut in Healthcare. You can register for that on our website at www.acd-inc.com. At the top, you'll hover over Paper Cut MF and then select webinars, and you'll be able to register for Doc's technical presentation of the webinar. Also within that link, you can listen to our past webinars. Specifically last month, we talked about mobility printing, and we're going to talk about that today as well. A couple of more house cleaning items, and we'll get started. But at the end of the webinar, like we've done the past couple of months, we're going to have a trivia question. And you'll have the opportunity to answer that question. And the first one that answers that question in the chat box will win either a polo shirt or a T-shirt. So get those chat boxes ready. Locate your Q&A section. Like I said a moment ago, Doc is going to be managing the Q&A for us today. And we are recording this webinar, so they will be posted on our website later on this month. So, again, thank you for joining. Buckle up and let's begin. So just like I told you a few moments ago, we're going to talk about some stats today. We're going to give you a lot of great information that's going to, I like to always say, paint a big picture of the industry and specifically the healthcare industry and, and how PaperCut can meet many needs from a print management and a security perspective. We're going to talk about all those as we go throughout the presentations, but take a look at these stats for just a moment. Let, let this sink in. I've said this on a few of my past webinars whenever we show you these numbers, and this takes us back to one word, and that word is opportunity. The opportunities that you have as one of our partners with us to go out and just blanket this market with paper cut in healthcare. Over 5,500 registered hospitals in the U.S., along with over 230,000 physician offices in the U.S. So think about your territories. And as we go through this webinar and as we talk about more great stuff and stats and, and facts for this industry, it's going to make complete sense that this product is a perfect fit for healthcare. Almost 20% of healthcare spending is a percentage of the U.S. GDP. That's a lot, guys. And we're going to come back to this $114 billion here in just a few moments. Let's talk about the landscape. What does this look like for healthcare and for you as you're prospecting and calling on your customers? What does this look like? So let's go through this paragraph quickly. But healthcare is the fastest growing sector of the U.S. economy with over 18 million workers. That's a lot. But let's talk about, let's, let's break it down a little bit more. Providers pro project their IT budgets to increase this year with privacy, we're going to talk about that in a moment, security, we're going to talk about that as well, compliance and process improvement, all of which ties in to paper cut. Let's start, let's start painting the picture a little bit more. Let's break down the different types of opportunities. And before I do that, we didn't just dream this information up. These are the facts. These are the facts through our experience with paper cut in this industry as to what we see and what we believe you're going to encounter. And for example, a small opportunity. 
typically one to two facilities or locations, maybe even one. And you know, one thing to be on the lookout for with smaller opportunities, they seem to be getting bought up by larger entities, larger enterprise organizations, larger hospitals. I even see it here where I live. That happened with my doctor's office that I've been going to for 15 years. They were just bought by the local hospital in the area. So it happens. But tracking, mobility printing, what does that look like for a small office? This is important. With, with the, the generation and the age that we're in, which is the reason we also just had a mobility printing webinar, what does that look like in a small opportunity? Well, maybe that doctor, he or she needs to print something from their tablet to securely to a device like you see here with Secure Print Release. Or maybe they have multiple locations and they need to print something between both locations. But we, we've got you covered and your customers covered with in-network and off-network mobile printing, and which we talked about last week. But it all ties in to security. And we're going to keep talking about this as we go into your medium to large opportunities. But what do we like to call these? We like to call these enterprise opportunities. That, that word just sounds fancy and it just sounds bigger, right? But this is what that looks like. And, and we're going to talk about this more in depth as we get to our success story towards the end, one of our case studies that, that really brings all of this home. Multiple locations and clinics, department bill back and charging. I'm not going to read every one of these to you, but let's think about that. Large hospitals, they, they are interested in, in, in more than just tracking. They're interested in department build back. They're interested in security, mobility printing. We're going to talk a little bit more about EMR integration here in just a few moments. But I can assure you everything that you're seeing right here is reflected in the case study that we're going to talk about here in just a few moments. So as we talk about those small to medium, excuse me, small opportunities to the enterprise and everything in between, Here's our success. This is ACDI success in healthcare to this point. Over 538,000 user licenses that we've sold in healthcare. And it's a wide range of organizations such as hospitals, pharmaceutical companies, medical device companies, medical schools, even therapeutic centers. And I could keep going and going, but I think you get the point. But this really brings it all together when we're talking about healthcare. If I could talk to all of you on the call and you weren't, you weren't muted, you hear it all the time. Protected health information. Any organization that deals with personal information falls underneath this guideline. This does not just have to do with healthcare facilities. This has to do with maybe a school or a school district. Why? Well, they employ nurses. This might have to do with a law firm that may, maybe they work with medical malpractice suits or something, and they're printing off documents that have customer information or private information on there. So think of it that way. But the real reason we want to throw these definitions up there is, number one, not to assume that you know what this is or have heard of it. But if you do, it, it's, it's being able to go into an opportunity, make that phone call, drop in, and as you're talking with those key decision makers, these stats and this information, you know it. And not only do you know it, but now you know how it ties back into paper cut. Security ties back into paper cut, but everything from a medical, from a privacy perspective, falls under this umbrella. I'm sure every one of you on the call have heard of HIPAA. It's been around for 21 years. This is extremely important. Why is it important? Well, I don't think anybody wants HIPAA violations or penalties. Very important. Let's just take a quick look at this. But again, this is information that you can use as you are calling on your customers. What do these HIPAA violations look like? I don't know if it was me. It allows me to intelligently speak to, you know what, I, I don't want a, a willful neglect violation that could be ten to $50,000. But the, the thing is about these violations is it's per violation. So imagine a, a, a small opportunity, a, a two-location doctor's office or even a one-location doctor's office, if they, had this, if they fall under this violation, what if they had four or five violations? That might put them out of business. But outside the dollar amount, here's what we're really talking about when it comes to HIPAA. For anyone, it's about their reputation. They don't want their reputations tarnished in the industry. 
They want to keep growing. They want to be successful. That's how they make their money. This gives you a way to bring that full circle. Let's talk about a few actions that have happened over the last several years. I'm not going to read each bullet point to you, but just look at the numbers in red. Look at, those, look at the second bullet point, five physician office, $100,000, $750,000 settlement. It's a lot of money. But again, it's a lot of money, but it also gets back to a reputation. But how do we tie that back into paper cut? Well, well, what you're going to see in a moment in the case study, the success story that we have, security and transparency. That's what they're looking for. Here's the granddaddy of them all. This is the biggest HIPAA violation in the U.S. history, advocate health system in Illinois. So for those of you on the call in Illinois, Yes, $5.5 million settlement in 2016 related to what? Three data breaches in 2013, and what did it compromise? PHI of 4 million individuals, largest HIPAA settlement to date. It's huge. So how can you go in and tell your customers how they can prevent these four examples that I've shown you? Well, we have a product called PaperCut. We can provide security for you, no more HIPAA violations. We can provide transparency. We can provide so much. So how are you talking about that? Well, these are the four pain points in healthcare. Accountability, transparency, that's what we're talking about here. We have more than just one case study on, on healthcare, but every one of them speak to accountability. And our ability to do that within paper cut within the, the, the web-based administration. Another word that's used is transparency. Because guess what? We can now manage, excuse me, we can now measure what we're printing and copying and how we can manage it. With 80 plus reports and all of the other features and benefits that go along with paper cut, this is the door that you're opening up for them now on top of everything else that we've talked about. And then just bringing it right back to security. You don't have to bring up features and benefits and call it by its official name. It's secure print release. It's being able to release jobs securely. Here's a few other features. Maybe it's print archiving. You know, in my research for the webinar, I, I read to where, you know, it's important to be able to generate a document maybe that was printed. You know, a healthcare facility that's being questioned by, by a, a law office that says, listen, we've had a complaint filed against you, and this is what they said. You know, this is what they said was printed. Well, it'd be a great idea if you could go and find that archived print job. It might be a requirement. This is something that you could bring up, again, going along with the, this security piece of paper cut, and that's really the focus and transparency. EHR and EMR print tracking. I want to draw your attention to the very bottom there. Certain conditions must exist with these products. And we are referring to Epic and Cerner, and I'm sure any of you that have sold into the healthcare industry or, or have had conversations, those products have been brought up. So there are there are ways using paper cut in one of those products that we can capture and track the printing output. Now there are things that need to be in place, and this is not the call today where we're going to get into all of the technical information about how that works. Just know that it's something that we can do, and please engage your regional solutions manager or your ACDI representative, and we can have that discussion with you. Uh, some of our employees, like Doc, who's on the call with us today, uh, one of our pre-sales technical specialists, he might attend that call along with some of our other coworkers. But this is something we can do, and this is big, because we're asked about this, especially in those large enterprise opportunities. Did you know that unreleased print jobs, imagine being able to go into an organization and say, we can save you 20 to 30 percent. Well, how can you do that? Well, through an unreleased print job. We can track how many of your jobs went unreleased out of a print queue. Last I checked, there's not many medical facilities or anyone in healthcare that doesn't want to save money. This gets back to abandoned print jobs and things sitting on the copy machine that they don't need. Rules-based printing, routing. This is a part of these success stories as well. But again, we're trying to paint the big picture, right? We want, we want to see the big picture and, and what that looks like. And it all starts with all of the stats and everything we went through and, and going in and being able to talk intelligently to those customers. Let's spend a 
couple minutes here on mobility print. I don't know how to say it any more clearly than this, but this is not going away. This is here to stay. We had a great sales and technical webinar last month on mobility printing. I encourage you to go listen to that. Uh, I, I know that it's going to be beneficial for you. But you can see in this paragraph what we can accomplish from a mobility printing standpoint. Whether it's on net, in network or off network through another product, we can, we can take care of mobility printing needs. But what does this look like in healthcare? What are some examples? Well, maybe room to room printing or floor to floor, location to location. But just, just envision a doctor. You know, he or she is making rounds on a floor and they have their iPad with them and you know what? They need to print something. They need to securely print a document. Imagine the ease of them being able to generate that print job on their tablet, tag it with their username and password, and be able to send that securely and be able to walk over to the nurse's station or the workstation and securely release that at the copy machine. It opens up convenience. It opens up easy workflow. There's just so many positive things that mobility printing can do and does for the healthcare industry. So don't let this be something that you don't talk about. It's something that needs to be brought up and discussed. So this is a very important feature. Couple things to visit about here, integrated scanning. This is just improving the workflow um, on the copy machines and the embedded licenses as, as you log in and need to navigate a lot easier. So integrated scanning is a great feature from an accessibility standpoint. Secure mobile print. Let's talk about the customer success. So this is what I was referring to earlier. So Metro Health, a, a very renowned and large healthcare uh, system up in the Cleveland, Ohio area, they were generous enough to provide a great case study. And guys, this is just a piece of the pie here, but you can see the bullet points. We're, we're at an enterprise level type opportunity with this, with this customer. A lot of locations. Complex clinical workflows. Very important for you guys to understand that we're not just a install and we're just tracking printing. Paper cut can and has been installed in many large organizations with complex workflows, rules-based printing to accomplish a lot for customers. So I want you to think of the product that way. And you can just look over here to the, to the right. These are comments from the customer. Look at this, last paragraph. Since installing PaperCut, Metro Health has seen a 50% reduction in paper cost at 54 million pages a year. Big savings. Imagine you being able to go in and share this type of information and all of the other information that we've discussed with print management and PaperCut in healthcare. And then you can see the very last sentence. And again, we're not going to get into a technical dive of epic print tracking, but they're doing that using paper cut. It's huge. Very quickly, we're brand neutral. We're platform neutral. And we work in a server or direct setup environment. We cover that in most of our webinars. We want to make sure that we're still on the same page with that. And paper cut just works, guys. It just works. I might have said that earlier. Cost-effective ROI in weeks or months. Just a very easy product to navigate through the dashboard. But at the end of the day, we're trying to meet a need in healthcare. Let's bring it back around, full circle. $114 billion industry. You can see it in the paragraph over to the right. This is a robust product. This is a product that can meet your customers' needs in this industry. So the question is, where do we go from here? As we've discussed a lot today, the question is, where do you go from here with this product in healthcare? We've talked about HIPAA. We've talked about PHI, security, transparency. That's what they're looking for, I promise you, because we know that because that's the feedback that we've received over many years of working with this product and in this industry. So engage us. Let us know if you have opportunities. Go out and talk about it. Promise you, it will, uh, it will make a difference. Create customers for life. I know that's what you're trying to do.